Last thing I need is those emptied home. Hmm, Paco Bellier is no place on my battlefield. Yeah, so many. It's crazy. Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors Beswick. Rose Day and Furnace is going to be challenging Abyss Foscari. And what can she get done here? Get a lot. A lot, because she is Rose Foscari. And very little is going to be able to stop her. Especially with some Metal Claws. And Silver Wind. Wow, all three weapons right off the bat. Well, that's what she's doing. Gonna keep her health high. Very high, my tag though. Got plenty of leeching going on between the two. And we'll get big fuzzy fists in the end. I really shouldn't have grabbed big fuzzy fists. Metal claw was technically better for what I needed. But well, challenge everything, break it all beneath her knees. And let's grab some slash and side effects. One of these weapons. You don't really think about fall off a wallow in a context outside beavers, but well, was that always there? Well, oh, 16 health is a lot to restore. Make metal claw faster. All right, Sarabande. Not Sarabande of healing that I needed. Was, what the heck was that? It like it got pushed into me at the same time it did a regular attack, so it like doubled up on its attack animation. That was a weird. Because, oh boy, was that a lot of damage way too quickly. Huh, why hasn't Silver Wind come back? It very obviously hasn't been banished. I would need that revive. The final waves here are still the final waves here. I can actually see the map. That's nice. No chest yet, you're the boss. I uh, don't have Metal Claw and Hollow Heart up yet. I can't make those fists big and fuzzy. Hollow Heart. Hollowest Heart. And Festive Wind will help bring in the pain. There we go. Our big fuzzy fists are going to be beating their Atlantean masks off. Why are you not attacking them? What? Oh, maybe it, the speed increase changes the time it takes to get over to something. Why did it attack change like that? That was weird. There's Moon. There you are, Moon Atlantean. You somehow got desynced from the other three. That's odd. Right. Well, actually, I can't evolve Silver Wind just yet. Huh. Shadower. Max out Silver Wind. Max out Recovery with Palm Roll. There you go, Fest of Winds. And now you'll start taking a ton more damage. You'll be debuffed. Boy, you have no area. 
This doesn't really matter. I suppose I could have just kept going with it, but hey. And that negative might is killer. Like, it's so killer, I don't want to level. Do I? I mean, the stuff at the end gets really meaty. Yeah, of course I get cursed. Huh. Oh, are you kidding me? Take the hands off the controller for a second and Stalker spawns in. Ugh. Awake it is. I'm not gonna win this. I can't win this. God. Again. With his terrible luck. Oh, now it's double stalker too. Why wouldn't it be? the regular enemies shouldn't have any trouble but I got double stalker of course I get double stalker of course she gets double stalker she's the princess after all and I get trapped between these stalkers that figures all oh, right this increases damage based on movement not that you're ever really gonna want that but hey it's there And I guess grab an old sanctuary over slash. Well, one's gone. The Arcana chest should be spawning in soon. There it is, and it's awake time. And all those chickens are trapped off in the void, too. It's crazy bad luck. Okay, stalker's gone. We got some chickens loaded up. And frankly, with how fast it heals, it would be good anyway. Not getting any hearts, it seems. Oh, well, there's a couple, but still, it's not very many. Hey, I'm on 38 health, too. Just took it off for a second, and he killed her. One of my very precious revives, because that 28 minutes going to be terrible. Oh, well, I do have a Sarabande as well. Now that big fuzzy fist gets better with lower health, but hey. How thick they're coming in. It's probably the first test. First real test of survivability. It's okay for now. Man, nothing on regular mode just has health compared to inverse, huh? I mean, you think, but man, just comparing them directly like this, it's nothing. Two red gems, yay! Got a lot of chickens around, that's good. Their damage as well as healing. And they are going to basically be a full heal because of the recovery bonus and Cerebonde. Well, the increased recovery and Cerebonde. Yay, 1.5. They heal for like 90% more. No, that's not even close. They heal for 150% more. That should be right. Man. 
Not a good sign if even a boss at this level isn't going down quickly. New NFT. That'll be helpful. I mean, it should be helpful. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep that Puala for Walla bonus going up. No fourth Arcana here. And I wouldn't take it even if I did. Really? Not on track to hit 100k either, geez. It's only gonna get worse from here on out. So much worse. Crap battle, really? Oh, okay. Huh, he went down pretty quickly. What's gonna win? Is it gonna be Fuala? Fuala? Is it gonna be Big Fuzzy Fist? Or is it gonna be the surprise Festive Winds? What with its damage boosting capabilities? Don't get too close to the NFT. I need to save that for the big, thicker waves. Ones that are super dangerous instead of just regular dangerous. I kind of want to go like berserk or get constantly low health with metal claw, but uh, well, here it is. Not doing that. Yeah, I think I have an idea for what to do for the other two ones, which aren't going to be boss rash and moon glow, because this is actually being done a day ahead of time, at least. Level up. I'm not stopping. I can't stop. Well, I shouldn't stop. Can't is a binary state. Yes or no. I can stop. Great. I had to prep that. I had to prep that correctly. I don't want to lose my damage bonus uh, for Wall for Wallow. Alright, the past 20 minutes we're getting into the scary territory now. No farming in Atlantis for sweet, sweet golden eggs. Just pure victory. And a ton of chickens around here. Absolute ton. There's like over 20. Hey, a rosary out of nowhere. Let's just get you as debuffed as possible so Big Fuzzy Fist can work its miracle. Every hit from Festive Winds decreases the enemy defense by making them take more damage. So if I play Ring Around the Rosy with them, get them hit by as many Festive Wind petals as possible, that will do the most damage. Huh, you went fire. Oh, another NFT here. Well, might as well get some coinage. Yeah, is it raining again? Last thing this area needs is more rain. Well, they're not doing much. That's good. Good. Get closer to where I know the chickens are, so I can grab them all. Uh oh, scary time. Or is it? Wolf Wallow and Cerebond Night Healing. Good combo. Basic but simple and strong. Scary wave? Not so scary. Turns out. Spooky. I can actually see what's going on on screen. That way you know it's not scary. Uh-oh. 
A lot of games with hands, huh? Kill count's not going to be too impressive, but she wasn't really in any danger, despite the nonsense going on with the Atlanteans and the Stalkers. And if one spawns in now... Nope, light sources. I will completely not notice it. Just hit you with as much festive winds as possible. Nothing can survive that many festive winds. I used up all the chickens here. It's not good. Alright, here comes the worst of it. Even this can't go up against it. There's chickens everywhere, but... Good grief. Well, I do get full healing from my revives at least, too. So that's full health bars they have to fight through. more chickens over here. What is that? Oh, Big Fuzzy Fist going crazy off of something. Oh, I get another bat wave to save me at the end. What? That's absurd. Well, that happened again. Odd, but well, it's not like I have any choice over this. Is on Xbox. I can't control my the Xbox to guarantee that. I would remove Stalker if I could do that. 18.6 on the Fawal Fawalu. And Rose is heading over to good old Astral Stair where she is found. Yeah, that's fine. Despite being the second video in the order, it was the one recorded third because I forgot that Hectic Highway counts as a bonus stage under my rule set. So that's why things are going to be weird for the commentary. Well, weirder than usual. Ta -da. Oh, it's nice to have Astral Stare. That isn't a complete nightmare from the start. That's such a welcome change of pace. Diver Mines. Who would want Diver Mines? Actually, I suppose this wouldn't be the single worst stage for Diver Mines. Plenty of stuff for it to track around that isn't the edge of the screen the entire time. Dun, dun, dun. Empty tome. Probably try. Well, kind of doesn't matter. Oh, actually, no, considering her passive. There will probably be more than enough enemies to actually get a golden finger done. Oh man, it's so weird going to the right. I don't have enough full area clear for this. It's all concentrated around her. Blarg. Well, nothing even close got... And well, nothing close survived. That's how we go. Oh, hollow heart. Yeah, this shouldn't be much of a challenge for once. Ah, oh, it's such a nice change of pace. Castle Stair. So scary. This time it shouldn't be. And I don't even have to worry about the cosmic eggs, because I can just heal back super fast. Because I will be healing back super fast at that point. Eat health, yay! 
Oh no, it'll be 16 at that point. Hmm. Yeah, there's something going on with her attacks. She's, there's like some sort of weird chain going on. I don't think that's normally part of a wall of a wall, though. Well, generally, by the time you get this, there's nothing left to throw it on. Well, I mean, I suppose it's more like this screen is such a blur of nonsense that you can't tell. What is that? What are those? Were they always there? I don't believe I've ever seen these. Little hanging spots. There you are, Sarah Bonde. Huh. That's fascinating in a very odd way. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, no choice there. I should stop getting XP till I can get, you know, another evolution. Oh, Silver Wind in the fourth wall carries the weaker, lower side. Yeah, there's some sort of domino effect with the attack. I don't know what's causing it. I mean, maybe it's innate to Rose, but I don't remember Wallop 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 Wallow doing something like that before. Man, it's still no chest. Eight minutes in and there's been one chest. Two, maybe? It's so hard to tell sometimes about what's going on. Hey, bullets. Those will surely do things. I mean, if you think about it, Silverwind is just a better Bible, isn't it? Even getting kills for 5 HP restored. Yay. Oh, there's the boss. Will you actually drop me what I need to evolve? Boy, I hope so, yay. Still need to get that fist all big and fuzzy, but... At least I don't have to worry about too many levels going to a weapon that won't use it. Now, will I get a 10 minute boss, or is it all going to be on odd numbers for whatever reason? Here comes two. Yeah, that figures. Yeah, just just get rid of you, even though you can't actually hit me. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, more Arcana. And since I really, really, really do not want to lose, we will get awake. Oh, no 10 minute boss. Is there an 11 minute boss? What a strange circumstance this is. Nothing on the right. Nothing on the left. What a weird stage for chess. It's not it's quite as bad as Moon Glow or Whiteout, but still. Those are at least tagged as bonus stages. No, I guess all the bonus stages. Well, I mean, I don't really play Omelise, ever. So I don't know how their chests work, but I presume it's terrible. Yep. Hey, there we go. I just go random always after I get this red gem up here. Ooh, levels. Are you kidding me? Is this my big red gem? 
No, this is a regular red gem. That's kind of annoying. Eh, yeah. or a Logan, but no vacuum. Right over here. Yep, she's going through them with no trouble. Yep, full speed ahead. Is this an entrance? It is now. Alright, these guys are pretty hardy. Guys, these heads are pretty hardy. Where are the golems going there? Yep, that was not a good use of it. And I'm such high level. 39. Incredible. Ouch. Probably... I wonder what happens if you hit zero. I mean, how would that you even do that? Pop it when death shows up? No. Oh, egg. Oh, egg. So cosmic and grand. You get... Hey, I think you're immune to the debuff from Festival Wind. Like death. Or at least I don't have to worry about your infinite corridor. Nope, you're not immune. Goody goody gumdrops. Youch, just clearing through the mummies, no trouble. It's a bit odd. I'm gonna consider that wave a bit more durable than that. But if you're gonna do it like that, okay. Maybe it's best to just do big wide sweeps instead of trying to go up or down. Eh, still a terrible score, all things considered, but... Well... Should be fine to just go through the cosmic eggs. I got healing. They don't really do much in the way of contact damage. It's all in the infinite corridor blast doing it. Here we go. And of course there's a starburst. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, you didn't even get to fire off an infinite corridor. Damage increase from Festive Wind is crazy. Especially considering she has very little damage. 56. Man, how does that work? And there's a Drowner. Yay, Drowner. Yeah, I'm going to kill one of them eventually. Right? It's strange that I didn't even run into one of them. I just was able to actually dodge around it. Well, I want to see if I can kill one. Yep, I got some. I saw the kill counter go up. Oh, I killed a lot of them. Jeez. Oh, no. Bats are coming in. That's what happened. Oh, well. 0.7 off Waffle the Wallow. Best of Wind finally did something. Oh, that's Rose down. Nice to have a character that actually functioned correctly. Time for Rose to go fast as the hectic highway is calling. Sort of a nice that sound old sanctuary before. Dun 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 palm roll Oh, they're just spawning all over the place. Empty tomb. Gotta keep up with their numbers. Oh, she looks really funny on the bike, and that was Metal Claw I just missed. Because Empty Tomb is Empty Tomb. I can't even get into them. No, do not cancel. Do not cancel. Do not cancel. 
Last thing I need is to lose empty home. Hmm, Paco Bellier is no place on my battlefield. Yeah, so many. It's crazy. It'd be even worse with more curse. Good old area would help here. Metal Claw. Silverwind hasn't shown up yet. But it shall. It shall. Right, coming up on two minutes. Gotta hold out for the boss. Which you can't really do anything about, but hey, it's better to get the chest than not. About getting it for the evolution. Wow. He sure died easy. Those are not Silver Wind. Those are not Silver Wind. There's my silver wind. We'll go to victory with that. Rolls evolved. The other one isn't. Metal claw is too near to the top, though. Our pomerol is maxed out. It's not evolved. You can't evolve passives. Yet. <sighs> Evolving your passive. Now that's an idea. I have no idea how it could possibly work, but whoa. Oh, hey, big fuzzy fist. I don't need Hollow Heart maxed out again, huh? Probably makes it worse, but... Well, it's... I feel like I'm gonna get much use out of Metal Claw here. What's going on on the screen? I would have switched it out from Metagio left, but there's no Metagio left to grab here. Huh. Hey, is Carlo Kart bonus or challenge? I think it's bonus, which means actually I should have gone to challenge stage first. Normally I go regular challenge bonus. It doesn't really matter, but... Arcana. Arcana. Give me that Cerebon Dave healing. I'm gonna be needing it once those dragons and Taka show up. And I stop moving. Wow, you are not going down at all. Your damage is so bad and the... Petals from Silverwinds do not seem to be wanting to hurt you. Maybe if I just give you some time up. Dang it. No, you just keep going down. Where did you even go now? Just explode without giving me... I was literally on the bottom the entire time. There's no way I should have been able to miss that. Well, here we go. Fast to the right as fast as possible. I suppose I could hold out to see if the 8-minute boss drops its chest in a way I can actually grab. Or, well, I suppose spawns in a way I can actually grab, but that seems unlikely. That seems so unlikely. What was that? Oh, it's a giant tank. And I missed it again. Yay. Nope, oh, holding right time. Yeah, random always time. I just want this to be over with. The pain and agony of existence. Why are you so fast? Oh, at the very end, huh? Yep. Yeah.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this hectic highway speed a going. Probably not even going to be able to find the dang third arcana chest at this rate. Oh, barely got it in. Nice. All right, halfway through-ish, almost, kind of, sort of, eventually. Take that, boss. What are you dropping a chest with nothing? And of course, once the second arcana shows up, I'll have no idea which one is it's gonna be, and I'm gonna miss it, and it's gonna be awake, and oh no, I don't have a wake. That's bad. Yeah, that was just the regular chest from the boss that I missed. Here's your own. Yeah, that really turned down the sound, didn't I? Oh, saw you back there, Mr. Arcana enemy. Now you're back at the top for some reason. Why are you at the top? 84 and... Eight. Man, that does so little damage. Okay, if I just slowly go down... No, you just... somehow get pushed up by nothing. Oh man, I wasn't even at the top. I can't hit you with anything. You don't even know what is hitting you. The shockwave from Big Fuzzy Fist, is it really that big? I guess it is. Huh. And of course, as soon as I say, oh well, I'm not going to get it anytime soon, it happens. Rapid fire. Well, they just got rapid fisted. Man. She looks really weird on the bike. I don't know what it is, but I think it's because it's black on the bike. It looks off. Oh wow, that was quick. Alright, time to grab a wake and get going. Alright, I got about three-ish minutes to fill the air with. With nothing, because I have nothing to talk about. What am I supposed to say? Wow, that kill count is tiny. Yep, giant robot dragons. Yay, that's something to talk about. Ah, I know. Mega Man collab. That's easy. Yeah, it's so easy. You have so much material to work with there. Crazy amount of material. Might as well blow you up nice and easy. Or not nice and easy, I guess. Yeah, that negative might just... You just feel it so badly. Imagine how much bad it would be with curse and stuff powering it. Oh boy, good thing I didn't do that idea. Make as many enemies on the screen as possible. How am I going to survive that? With negative might? Crazy talk. Well, I guess it's positive now because of Silent Old Sanctuary. It shouldn't be that much, though. I have rapid fire on. Did she get stat increase? Yeah, I, had, I must have had rapid fire on. Or the cooldown, at least, because it was at negative 100. And Stalker, that, that, that figures. I didn't even see it till I was basically about to leave, huh? Yep. Yep, Taka's in here somewhere. 
causing issues because it's Taka. Right? No. I guess they all just spawned in on her. Weird. Kind of can't get much done because they're all stuck on each other. It's like uh, da -da -da, the doorway of germ. Maybe it was Taka and just blew up so fast I didn't see. I swear it was at 18. This doesn't go to 25. I refuse to believe it goes to 25. I could just check but before I start the stage, but that would require me having excess amounts of times to do something like this on. And I clearly don't have that. There we go. Finally caught up to her, eh, Death? 8.8 on the Fuala Fuala. Ouch. Festive Winds is mostly just there to debuff at this point. So Rose, with basically no trouble, has taken out three more on the Beswick. 340. It's not the right number, it's 390. And yes, I am doing double out of order, because why not? And Astral Stair is all the way over here. 391. And it's still on Rose, good. At least 1,541 more to go. Oh boy, oh boy. Thanks for watching, I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who has supported the channel with a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. And if you have not, please do so. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.